Hello everyone. Today we are going to fix the Wi-Fi which is a very common problem in Windows 10 that it doesn't show the Wi-Fi option. So today we are going to fix that just like this. I have clicked here and it's not showing me the Wi-Fi settings and even if I go to settings I'll just do a right click and I'll go to settings and when I go to network I do not see the Wi-Fi option here. So we are going to fix that. There are very simple steps which we are going to follow. Make sure you follow all the steps. So the very first thing we need to check that is our network adapter working fine or not. So for that we just have to type C as in Charlie, M as in Mike, D as in David, CMD, run as an administrator and it will ask you to say yes. And here we just need to type PIM. So this is the thing which you need to type and hit enter. Now once you type you will get the reply like this. So if you're getting this reply that means your network adapter is working and there is no hardware problem. So we will move to the next step. So for that we need to check the Wi-Fi service is working or not. And for that just press window and R key together on a keyboard or do a right click at the start icon and click on run. And here we need to type services. Now once you type services.msc we just need to click on OK. Now once you open it I'll just maximize this. Here we are looking for WLAN autocon. Now make sure this WLAN autoconfig should be running and it should be automatic. And if it's not just do a right click and you can click on start and it will be active. And also make sure it is automatic. So for that I just have to do a right click, go to properties and here I need to select automatic and then apply and OK. Once you're done, restart the computer and see if the Wi-Fi option is coming or not. Once this is done, we will move to the next step. So for that, you just need to press Window and R key together on a keyboard. You will get this run window. And here we need to tap INET. So we are going to reset the internet settings. And for that, we just have to go to Advanced tab. A window will appear like this. Go to the Advanced tab and just bottom Restore Advanced Settings and then click on Apply. So this will not fix the Wi-Fi problem but it's going to reset the internet which will be helpful in resolving the issue. Once this is done we will move to the next step. For that again press Window and R key together and this time we are typing NCPA. Now once you enter NCPA.CPL hit OK and you will see a window like this. Network connection and the adapter. Now here make sure the Wi-Fi is not disabled. If it's disabled, click on Enable. And even if it's enabled, just disable it and then re-enable. Once you have enabled, see if the Wi-Fi option is back or not. You can check it from here or just simply do a right click, go to Settings, and then Network and Internet. And here, make sure, just check if you have got the option Wi-Fi. If it's not, we will move to the next step. So for that, I'll just close this window. Just do a right click on the start icon and go to device manager. Now once you are in device manager, we are going to update the Wi-Fi adapter. So here you need to look for your network adapter. It can be Intel, it can be Etheros or Broadcom, anything. I can see Intel Wi-Fi 6 is here. So for me, I'll just do a right click, I'll click on update driver and then search automatically for drivers. So after updating your Wi-Fi driver, restart the computer and see if it's working. And if it's not, just do a right click and click on update driver and browse my computer. Once you do that, select let me pick from available list. So click on that and here select the different driver check if it's working for you or not so you can install the lower one and if that doesn't work then the next one and then the next one like this so once you install restart the computer and see if your Wi-Fi is working or not if it's not 
we will move to the next step and that step is just to right click click on uninstall device make sure you do not check this so this should be always uncheck just click on uninstall and then restart the computer so once we click on uninstall it will only uninstall the driver for temporary basis and once you restart the computer your network adapter will be installed again the driver will be installed again so no worries once this is done we will move to the next step if that doesn't work for that we just have to type cm and run as an administrator so we are going to reset the network profile so we are going to reset and refresh so for that you just need to type I'll just maximize so that you can see it's net sh space winsocks reset so once you type net sh space winsocks space reset hit enter and this will reset the winsock the network profile and one more thing we need to do and then restart the computer so for that so once you're done with the first command we need to type the second command which is net sip space reset dog dot once you type it hit enter and it will reset many things and you just need to restart the computer and check if Wi-Fi is back or not just click here and see if the option is there or not and if it's not we will do the last step for that you just need to press window and R and type MS config I'll just zoom it out MS config hit OK so once you do that a new window will appear we need to go to services so once you are in services make sure this hide all Microsoft services should be unchecked and here disable all and then enable all make sure once you disable enable all of them and then click on apply and OK and let me know in the comment section if that has worked for you or not if it's not I'll try my best to fix your problem and please hit the like and subscribe I'll see you in the next useful video have a wonderful day